This is the overview for the 2016 Marion curtain side for Praxair. Step one is to release the buckle along the side of the curtain side. We're pushing up on the tab and releasing from the angle on the substructure. Next we need to release the lanyard from the tension handle. Underneath there's a lever that needs to flip up to release the tension from the curtain. We can now release tension and turn the knob to take the tension off the curtain. Next we'll need to go and take the tension off the back side of the curtain. At the rear of the truck you'll need to release the lanyard from the handle, pull back and lift up on this pin to release the tension on the back of the curtain. Once this tension's released, you use the strap to lift the curtain out of the holder. The curtain's now free at the rear of the truck. Now at the front of the truck, we can lift the front bar from the holder and release it from the slot at the top. This now frees up the front side of the curtain. We'll now open up the curtain so we can reach the center support. To release the center support, pull the detent pin. There's two pins on top and one pin on the bottom that locks this in, and this bar cams in place. So the outside tube will release from the inside tube. You then lift it up, remove it from the bottom pin, and drop it down. It's held in place by the tight track. An independent track called the kite track for the center support so you can slide the support out of the way when accessing the bottle skids. Once the center support's out of the way, we can access the bottle skids. Your forks will release the pins for the bottle skids through the tube on the side with this piece of angle iron. <clears throat> this angle iron will raise up as your fork comes in, releasing each pin on each side of the skid. Once the pickup or delivery is complete, we have to replace the center support. We just slide this into position, open the cam, and place the two pins on top back into the slots. The pins are in the top slots, so we need to drop the bottom pin into the hole and cam the tube back over the inside tube. Then we can replace the detent pin. Next, we'll need to close the curtain. When securing the front of the curtain, we have to ensure that the flap at the top goes underneath the gray flap on the outside of the curtain side. Once the flap's in place and you're locked in the top slot, you need to set the bottom pipe on top of the ratchet mechanism. Once the front of the curtain side is secured, we need to do the same thing as in the front to the back to make sure that the flap gets underneath the gray piece on the outside of the curtain side, then taking the rod, tucking it into the hole at the top, and swinging the bar over the peg at the bottom. Next step, we'll need to pivot the back side of the curtain side into the latch. Once it locks, we rotate the handle and clip the lanyard back into place. The back of the curtain side has now been secured. Now we need to ratchet the front side of the curtain side. We need to flip the lever on the back side back down to re-engage the ratchet. Begin 
ratcheting the curtain to the desired tension. Once it's in place, we need to replace the lanyard on the handle. The final step is to attach the 11 ratchet straps on each side of the curtain side.